Hello again, Scramble Brains listeners. This is Will Runyon Jr. Reminding you once more to uh, please go check out Lake Kinnikinick at lakekinnikinick.com. That's L-A-K-E-K-I-N-N-I-K-I-N-N-I-C-K.com. Um, or you can find a link at scramblebrainscast.com. Uh, that's the new podcast that I'm co-writing, co-directing, acting in, producing, um, all that stuff. And uh, I think it's a pretty nice piece of work, so I want to know what you think. So you can find us on iTunes, you can follow us on Twitter at Lake Knick, um, and uh, we only have one episode out so far, but we're working on the second, it should be out before too long. So uh, yeah, check it out, let us know what you think, and uh, in the meanwhile, enjoy this show. Welcome to Scrambled Brains. We're now, now we're going. Okay, all right. All right, here we go. Welcome to Scramble Range Wordcast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Powell. And I'm Will Runyon Jr. And it's episode 113. Yeah. I don't have anything for 113. That was a hell of a, the, you just hit it. The, the 113, on let's top. go. The first cast of 2016. Around. Yes, oh, happy new year. I'm, I'm declaring this the year that everybody dies. <laughs> oh. You said that about 2015, <laughs> too. Well, no. Okay, we lost Lenny. Was that Lenny. Christmas? Yeah. Lenny. Yeah, we lost Lenny. Uh, Trapper John M.D. died. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nat King Cole's daughter, Natalie oh, Cole, well, died. Oh, that one shocked me. What did she die of? I don't know. She's because only she like 65. Seem, yeah, she I doesn't mean, seem old enough. Or, hmm. And anyone who don't remember who Natalie Cole is, back in the, what was in it? The 90s? Early 90s. Yeah, early, her, early her 90s. Da- well, her dad was always Nat, the, the legendary Nat, Nat King Cole, Cole. Nat King Cole. Who did the song Unforgettable. Okay. They re-recorded what it was with the name her of that? I can never remember it. singing along with him. Yeah, unforgivable. That was pretty unforgettable. much unforgettable. 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 <laughs> that was the review. Bastard. Uh, but that was like her big hit. I don't think right. she did much else after that. But it that. was kind of like a punchline too. I think I remember. Didn't like Saturday Night Live. Oh, I'm sure everybody mocked it. Yeah, like, I remember stuff. Yeah. Well, so. also wow, in living color, that really <laughs> that takes you back. It seems like I remember a sketch on there, yeah, but it may, it may have been Saturday Night Live. I don't remember. Oh, nothing, nothing pisses you. Okay, and and we know this happens at the end of every year. There's always top ten lists out the ass. Top mm-hmm. ten, whatever, yeah. 2015. This one made me mad. It was the top whatever top uh, top ten things in 2015 that turned 21. Like, well, how oh, can this shit. be bad? It's like yeah. friends turned 21. So uh, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> Is that from? Are they doing that from first air date or end date? Because if it's end first date, air. it's not as bad. So it started. Yeah, that's yeah, not as bad. Twenty one years for like ago. ten years or something, didn't it? No, it's been off. I mean, oh, it no. ran. It had like how many? Oh seasons? yeah, yeah, like yeah, nine seasons eight, or something yeah. crap like yeah, that. So that's what I'm saying. He's not as bad. Right, so it's it like make these songs, and it's like screw you. That just, means that song yeah. that I'll be there. Yeah. For oh yeah, you. I remember listening to that on the radio. <laughs> I know that was a big hit, but. Well, so what? Okay, um, somebody posted, uh, Juan actually posted a uh, Happy New Year 2016 with all these Star Trek characters. What is this? Saying like, 2016, Spock, wasn't that the year that... And then he's like, yes, Captain, it was. Uh, it wasn't Khan's like, year, was it? Wasn't that like 2005? Or yeah, something? no, that we we've already passed Khan's year. Yeah, we they have no Khan. idea. The poor devils. So something significant must have happened in Star Trek. And there was, was there was up. another one that says everyone, is that when the big war happened? I don't know, but there was one that said uh, everybody really knows everything went to shit in 2016 or something like and I, like it was a nerd thing and I hmm. I so I'm not a out. big enough Star Trek person to know you don't have that timeline memorized no it's not star wars so <laughs> it's yeah. not star wars well what's the difference really? i bet you this is something from like first oh, contact God. i always love those where it's got a picture of like uh, lenny kravitz and it's like you know uh coke Cobain, lead singer of no doubt daddy or whatever. right well it said it said star wars it's the bodies of the guys from Star Trek, but it's the head from, uh, the, everyone's got the faces of the cast from a uh, Firefly. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's like, son of a. I was, I just was, I was going to put what happened in Star Trek in 2016. 16. When I got to New what movie. happens, it was like, when you die, <laughs> when you die. which is so depressing. <laughs> what happens when you die? I don't People. think anybody, well, I, well, it depends on what you believe. 
if uh oh lord well what does google tell you yeah, i don't know i didn't get that far hold on i'll look that up next <clears throat> gosh i can only look up one thing <laughs> at a time i can't all it keeps talking about is stupid star trek beyond well okay. well one of our our faithful listeners, listeners i'm sure will tell us i, I don't know. please oh uh good news that got released today which you know that uh, Daredevil will come out March 25th. Yay! Yeah. Netflix. Now, Sooner what else is what else is March 25th? Batman v Superman. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> fuck those guys. Yeah. Net. Okay. Here's the. So prediction. they're gonna kid everybody to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> right. Watch Daredevil yeah. instead of. That's well, no, it's gonna be actually. it's gonna be Monday. It's gonna be man. Daredevil was great, and this happened, and that happened. Everyone just, did. Did you get to watch Batman and Superman? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. This is why. <laughs> this is why I love Marvel. Because yeah. Marvel, like Marvel's, like we're putting Avengers out in the summer. And DC's like, well, that's when Batman versus Superman is, and we're not moving. Okay, we'll move it. And it's okay. We're gonna make it next May. Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's when Captain America comes out. Oh. Fuck you guys. We're we'll put it in March. March. You know, don't know anything in March. And they're like, we'll let our TV handle you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Way it's with like, you. Daredevil can take care of this problem. <laughs> yeah. We don't even need the Avengers. Uh, there was some new uh, uh, pictures out of Daredevil with uh, with the yes. Punisher, Electra. Mm-hmm. Here's what I don't understand. They got. Um, Burn, Baron Burenthal. Why can't I say this? Barbara Ann? No, the guy playing Punisher. From the Beach, Beach yeah, Boys the, uh, song? Uh, he was, yeah. From All I can Burnthal, say Burenthal, something like that. I don't know his name. I don't Shame. know, whatever. Shame, Shame from Shame. Walking Dead. So yeah. they got him. He looks exactly like Frank Castle. Yeah. So they get him to play Frank Castle, and what do they do? They shave his head. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, what are you doing? He looked just <laughs> like Frank Castle. Why do you make him look different? It makes no yeah. sense. And I see it's... these pictures and I'm like, but he looked exactly yeah. like Frank Castle before you shaved his oh, head. Oh, he'll look fine. Yeah. I'm not that worried about it. I trust Marvel. This looks great. Uh, okay. Good news, bad news. Uh, Krang mm. is confirmed for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, uh-huh. which okay. we kind of figured yeah, that yeah. out because of Dimension X. Okay, it looked it's like we're getting awesome. invaded. That's good Maybe. news. You know, this is one of those. I, I was thinking about this today. I'm going to see this movie for the same reason I go see the X-Men to see who they put in it and how well they do them. But I'm thinking I'm actually going to enjoy this more yeah, than probably. the X-Men. <laughs> okay, that's well, good. Fox can only do something right when they don't give a shit about it. Yeah. So if they care about it, they fuck it up. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Bad news. Michael Bay confirmed as the director of Transformers 5 in the Why TF5 I, movie inf- uh, info Transformers World. I just want to die. I don't want any more Transformers movies. Everybody, well, it's good for the brand. I don't, no, it's not. I don't care. I don't think it I is. I don't care. It's good I just for want it to, Hasbro's bottom line because the kids want it to go away. The toys, I'm but tired. It's, it's, I, mean, I mean, it's like someone shot my dog, but then he continuously rapes my dead dog's <laughs> body in front of me. It's like... Can you please stop doing that and let me bury my dog? And he's like, no, you're going to watch this. <laughs> and so I just wanted to just end. Just please, please end. Just stop. It's already dead. It's already dead. Uh, let's see. Robbie Amell returns as Firestorm. But it's what is really? this? How? But it, no. He, Barry well, travels to Earth They never two. really identified what happened to no, him. They just uh, said he disappeared. Right? Well, yeah, but... Uh, uh, this is the Earth Two counterpart, okay. and he's Deathstorm. Oh, so well, that's no oh, good. So, so it's instead of like flames coming off his head, it's death. What? I don't know. I haven't seen a picture <laughs> <Death>. of. <laughs> there's just there's death coming off my head. <laughs> it's 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 odorless, tasteless, and invisible. okay. Wait a minute. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, well, uh, World War Three. Oh, sorry. Apparently starts in 2016 and lasts for 14 years. But <sighs> don't worry. It's fought between the Communist Union <laughs> and the American European Alliance. So, yeah, we're I think we're okay. I don't so know. even back in the '60s, they thought we'd be one big mm-hmm. Euro trash country. <laughs> so, yeah, they got a whole timeline for the war on here too. It's crazy. Okay, you want some Godzilla spoilers? I've no. seen some of this. Wait, but did you hear why? Camera. No, because he's no, no. like regenerating or something. This is his t- first oh. of three forms in so this movie. Is Peter Capaldi going to play Godzilla in this one? <laughs> yeah. or is... It would be cool. That would be so awesome. <laughs> is if the TARDIS landed and you just start to see like parts of Godzilla coming out, and, <laughs> and he's like, "Holy crap! It's bigger on the inside." It. Right. 
this world is so small compared to my TARDIS. And it, ah. Uh, because the, the world. Is I know, I got it, I got it. Little transformers yeah. with the sonic yeah. screwdriver. But I was going <laughs> to, when I first saw these pictures, I was like, okay, if this is the Godzilla they're giving us. It almost looked like zombie Godzilla. In Japan, I'm like, they have no way so, of giving us crap again about So this, fat okay, this Godzilla. is not like the new, like, Brian Cranston no, Godzilla. No, 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 this is no, the. No, no, This is Japanese, Japanese Godzilla. Godzilla. So it will be okay. a man in a rubber suit. Huh. I'm sure there'll be a lot of CGI to him. But it's like he he's mutating. He's okay. so he'll have three I like forms. It. I like the. It's I, fine. It looks cool to me. So I'm only interested in the final form, though. It's the Walking Dead Godzilla. That's what I said. Zum Zumzilla. Well, I'm trying to remember what happened in Final War. I don't think he died at the end of Godzilla. Final War. Maybe they're restarting again. Who knows? Of Godzilla. He did die at the end of Godzilla 2000, but then there was like. No, 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 that's not Godzilla 2. Which one would he die at the end of? I don't know. There was one where he, like, had a complete freaking... Oh, Godzilla what? versus Destroya. He had a complete, like, critical meltdown. Oh. And he blew up, but then there was a baby mm. Godzilla that absorbed all the radiation and mutated into a new Godzilla. So that's actually Godzilla number three. three. What about Godzilla 1985? Didn't he go in a volcano or something and die? No, they, he never dies by doing that. Oh, that yeah, really. he just he bleed, got, uh, okay. Yeah, how would he die in a volcano if he breathes atomic fire? I, yeah, no. He, he, would be. I think that's the one that dies in Godzilla vs. Destroya. Okay. But see, what's really crazy is the first Godzilla, he died in Godzilla. Uh, the one that shows up in God er, in Godzilla versus um, what the no Godzilla rides again or raids again, it's the second one. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, that is a completely different Godzilla. Yeah, because they used the oxygen thing on him. Yeah, the, the oxygen destroyer, which then they lost, so okay. they could never kill him that way again. This is who mm, I this is who I forgot. Jason Wingreen. Who is Jason Wingreen? Matt, come on now. Mm, sounds familiar, but I don't know. The voice of Boba Fett died. Oh, that's the other one I couldn't remember. See, I knew and Jeremy some... Bullock was under the stuff, but I forgot the did, original though. one from the. He's no good to me. Dead. Dead. Okay, yeah. not the uh, the like guy the... that they they New totally guy. shit on his legacy by having the other guy from the Kiwi from Down Under come in and re-record all his lines for the special edition. <laughs> right. They released it. Not the special editions, but the ones they released after the prequels came out. You know, it's like, he, and then no. he's like, he's no good to me. Dead. You okay. Know. He's like, oi, oi, he ain't good to me dead, dead, mate. <laughs> right. When we rewatched him the other day, like, I was trying to pick out some things were pretty obvious, like the all the CGI stuff that we yeah. added in. But, like, things like that, I was like, is that what? Yeah, they did you know, crap like that. Okay. I don't know why they did that. Yeah, I did, because I, you know, couldn't remember. It, well, you know, they set so a date yet for the originals to be out on Blu ray yet? No. Nope. I they mean, keep... they keep saying it's coming, it's coming, we're doing it. Um, It's, yeah. Does it have something to do where Lucas says he... They, no, I don't think it's a Lucas thing. I don't know what well, it is. Well, I mean, didn't Lucas the... say, I destroyed all the originals? There's you been... Know, now there there's has... only the yeah, special Yeah, he edition. said, and he also said that he went out and destroyed all the copies of the holiday special, but there's still those out there. <laughs> so, it's not... That's not true. Uh, they keep saying, like, yeah, we're going to do it. You know what I mean? And then and it doesn't happen and then another rumor comes up they're doing it they're doing it they're gonna do it and then it doesn't happen so i don't mm. know what is holding this up i don't know if it's gonna turn out that like it's like a batman 1966 thing where fox owns the rights mm. but warner brothers owns the the television rights but warner Bros. moves the, owns the this character movie, rights yeah. and so they can't get along seems like fox doesn't get along with a lot of people speaking of which is star wars not like the fastest a dvd movie ever is you it? didn't hear about this? Mm -mm. Uh, oh, they're selling the thing. April, it will be out on Blu-ray in crazy. April. Huh? April. It will. It will not It'll be. Still be in the theaters in April, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Has it broken a billion dollars? Oh yeah, it oh, a yeah. Dollars. It's broken a billion. Yeah, last dollars. week. Ah, wow. Yeah. So, so, yeah, that's already it, spanked Avatar back. It has. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. I, See, Avatar is not the highest grossing. I can't remember what it was. I mean, it was... Well, it depends. It was, oh, like, Lord. It depends right. on if you adjust for inflation. If you adjust no. for inflation, uh, Gone with the Wind is the highest grossing movie of all time. Still. Uh, and well, that's it, when and no one like had vastly yeah, over everybody. <laughs> everybody else. went and saw it because no the, one had TV. Yeah, you know what number two is? What, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. The original 1977 one. Hmm. But that's because of multiple viewing. I mm -hmm. mean, any kid will tell you, they didn't go once. They went three, four. Uh, some uh, promo art has been released for Civil War. 
Okay. Oh, Civil and War, everyone, I'm so everyone is hoping we get the same. It, it's gotta happen. Ant Man on Hawkeye's arrow. Oh, <laughs> it's right. Got we talked to about happen. that, right? Yeah, we talked the, about that last week. It would be week. great, like if he shot him at somebody, and then Ant Man became big right at the end and, and punched, punched the dude. Right. That would be the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Well, that's actually one of the mm-hmm. things that uh, I don't remember if we talked about it. If I heard somebody on a podcast talking about it, but the point of Ant Man, the reason he's able to punch people in his small form, right, is that his density is he retains his density, yeah. and so he can he like. Yeah, as so he's it's like how does he move? So he should like be <laughs> falling think, through yes. objects, you know, because he's it's you know it's the principle of two hundred pounds know, and uh, like a, a, a quarter inch of space. Yeah, 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 it's like an elephant could walk on the water, but a, a lady in high heels could not, you know, on the on the ice, you know, because yeah. the, the small thing will break through, right? So he should be like blasting through people's <laughs> heads like a bullet if he's like flying well, at them. So to they punch said them, in the or... movie that he has to watch how hard he hits okay. somebody. Yeah, he hits them too hard, he kills them. Yeah, right. <laughs> they so did say that. Enough. Okay. Yeah. I guess that so might goes, have been like a sleeping. bullet. You hit, Evangeline you hit... Lilly, uh, the wasp, or yeah. not the wasp, but she will be the wasp, uh said that to him. Okay. He's like, you got to you got to learn how to hold your punches. Anybody who's got super strength has to learn how to do yeah, them. Except which is, the hole. I don't, but I don't understand how he's never killed anybody because he he just goes into berserker rages and punches people. Because what they did, they retroactively went back and said, "Banner, okay, you know who Amadeus Cho is?" Mm-hmm. Okay. He's a like the yes. seventh smartest kid right. in the world. Whenever they introduced him, when he'd look at something, you'd see all these like math equations just flying around. I did know that. And he could like take a, a pebble and shoot it at a tank and hit it just right to where it would disable the tank. Okay. What they went back and said is that's what Banner's doing in the subconscious of the Hulk. That's why the Hulk hasn't really killed anybody uh, because the Hulk knows exactly because Banner's more or less pulling the strings. Yeah, that's, where the I've Hulk heard this theory before. Is known well, they even talked about that in the movie where Edward Norton, which I'm sad that Edward Norton has to be such an yeah. interfering fool because I, <laughs> as much as I like our Mark Ruffalo, oh, I like Edward Norton a lot better. But that he's like, if I could just aim the Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, <laughs> I can't control him. I can't I can control aim him, but him. if I can aim him, I can put him in front of something that needs punched. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of which, some uh, Thor Ragnarok mm. clip got released. Oh yeah, it got leaked, and it's cool. It is. I'm it, looking forward to Thor Ragnarok. All these movies, Doctor Strange is looking <laughs> yeah. great. Civil oh. War is looking great. I'm so happy. Ghostbusters. Not just. <laughs> why you have to? <laughs> you gotta come in and just shit right in my mouth. <laughs> I don't even understand. I'm I'm so happy because it's on a roll. You're not happy with Bond. You're not happy with That's Star true. Wars. Ghostbusters. Uh, I'm probably is the next more one. upset about Star Wars than I am about Bond, though. So. Okay. Next, Spider Man's gonna turn out to be a cross. No, shut up! Don't ruin Spider Man. Spider Man's gonna queer. be awesome. Patricia Parker. Spider-Man's going to be awesome. <laughs> now, see, I'd be more mad that they didn't use, like, uh, Maddie Franklin or, uh, you know, Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen. I, I was like, why do you have to change it to Patricia Parker? <laughs> Can't you use an actual Spider-Woman woman, character? I know. There's plenty of well, them. It's sort of like, why does Peter Parker have to be black when you have Miles yeah, Morales. Morales? Just use Miles Morales. I'm absolutely fine if you do a Miles Morales movie. I'll go see that. It'll be great. I'll go. But Peter Parker doesn't have to be black. <laughs> I, I, I don't agree. care if Spider Man's black. I care if Peter Marty. Parker yeah, is black. But this uh, clip, uh, just to break now, if you didn't get to see it yet, it's as Guardians in a war. Yeah, they're chasing after. Oh yeah, somebody. who are they fighting too? They look I, like probably other as Guardians or Dark Elves. Are they like or wearing some sort of skulls and yeah. crap? It's a, it's a cool clip. You don't know. I'm assuming it's Asgard because it looks what, like where, Asgard. Where would why would Asgardians be on Earth? That or he could be. It's it's the Warriors three, but no oh, Val's. This, this clip can is no longer it. available. Oh, did they? Take so it people down? can't go to our Facebook page and watch okay, it. Oh, I saw it. it yeah, was, yeah, it was I, great. Oh, I downloaded it, so <laughs> I've got it. But they're chasing after him, and you see Bruce Banner running through the forest, and he falls, and he's doing the whole holding his head. He looks yeah, up. Oh, you know, what's eyes are happen. green, and then it pans up, and you're looking down at the forest, and you start seeing trees part. And you oh, that's a great scene where it's just a, it's like a helicopter shot yeah. of the forest, and the move the trees are just moving. It's, it's almost like a uh, you know like a Jurassic Park. Yes, it's exactly like big. Jurassic Park. Something big's coming. So it's it's the Warriors two. It's Hogar the Grim yeah, uh, and uh, the uh, the va- uh, oh, um, 
The the Robin Hood, Carrie yeah. Elway's looking guy. What is his name? Um, oh, I can always remember the so other I ones. Know. It's Valstog, uh, Grimm, and uh, Fel, Feldor. Fel. It's like Findel. Yeah, Findel. Findel. That's Findel. it. I don't know where Valstog, the bigger guy, the Punisher oh, Vol, with the beard. Valstog. Yeah, Valstog. Yeah. And they're like, oh, let's go forward after him. And all of a sudden, they hear something, and the trees just start flying. He's like, they, run away! Explodes. Yeah, he's like, run away! Run away! Run away! So I think Hulk's going <laughs> yeah, so, berserker so, so, so rage. even the gods run when the Hulk's a Well, coming. I know what he did to Loki. <laughs> yeah. Well, so th- is that... Wait, and this is this is Thor. Ragnarok? Yes, this okay. is Thor now, Ragnarok. So, you, we, so we don't know how Banner got to Asgard. Right. We don't know. We are totally going to see Thor versus Hulk, too, right? This yes. is going to happen oh, again. Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, I can't mm. wait. So maybe, do you think, is that what they're doing while Civil War is going yes. on? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they so got to take explains. those two guys off the table. Right. Yeah, Yeah. because we know they're not going to be in that. So, okay. Because so, that's... So, and I'm sure it's probably Loki brings Banner to Asgard to fight I mean, Thor. if Civil War with Thor on one side... Hulk on the other, that w- there wouldn't be yeah. much left after they were done fighting. So, but that would be entertaining to watch. Oh yeah. Who's side? Well, I know that they sent Thor because World War Hulk took place during Civil War. No, no, they, they blasted. Didn't. They blasted Hulk. Well, it's a uh, not World War Planet Hulk. Planet Hulk. When that's he's right. Off. Planet, World War Hulk's where he comes back. Thor was dead. That's it. Okay. Mm. At Thor the was time. dead. There, Ragnarok his hammers happened. on the moon. No, wasn't it? Was hammers no. on the moon? His hammer was on the moon after uh, Original Sin. That's when he became unworthy. No, it was back further because the Fantastic Four went up there. No, many, it was in like Oklahoma. How many times has <laughs> Thor you, become Thor's hammer unworthy. was on the moon? What? How many times has Thor become unworthy? Because that's got to be really that's it, huh? And what happened was they didn't even say what happened. I mean, they made it so vague. Apparently, Nick Fury knew a secret. They're fighting Nick Fury. It's a long, drawn out story. They're fighting Nick Fury. Nick Fury whispers something in Thor's ear, mm-hmm. and Thor drops his hammer and can't pick it up. Mm-hmm. And that's somehow they, I don't know if they've even explained how Jane Foster got to the moon to pick up the hammer. Because yeah. Jane Foster is the new Thor. She got the hammer. I don't know if they oh, ever. this is what happened recently then. Yeah, this is See, the I'm last couple years. See, I'm thinking this happened earlier. No, no. It... When it fell, it fell to Oklahoma. No, I it was in Fantastic that. Four. Yeah, it was. And in what Fantastic happened Four. is Donald Blake showed up and picked it up. Oh, because and I don't Thor. know if they ever explained where Blake came from. Come from because Blake was a. What year was that? No, because I was yeah. collecting comics during Original Sin. When I read this, I read this at Paul's, hmm. and that was when Paul still had Marvel comics on the spinner rack. I read. Yeah. This. Cause, that wouldn't have been during Original no, Sin. No, uh, let me think. When else? But that did happen in Original Sin. No. Well, he dropped his hammer and become unworthy. No, Thor died. Yeah. Ragnarok Thor, happened. That's what I'm saying. And I his think hammer this was fell to Earth. Civil War, but... No. Okay. Th- there was no Thor during Civil well, War. Well, no, but before Civil War, because Thor was dead. I know yes. that. Thor was dead. Yes. Uh, uh, because they made Doom the tried to pick it up. <laughs> Did he pick it up? <laughs> no, it like no, electrocuted the no shit, shit out of him. <laughs> oh. there's, there's He's like, like I am royal like guys I'm that are worthy to pick it up and See, guys who is... aren't worthy and then guys who should never even attempt it. This was where they got the scene in Thor the movie where there's like a line of guys and they're mm-hmm. bringing trucks and <laughs> beer coolers and everyone's trying to lift it. That's where they got the scene from. Was that comic? Because everybody was gathering all around from all over the world. That was a pretty funny come. scene where they were all trying to pick it up. So... But um, but no, yeah. Thor or uh, Civil War had Ragnarok, the Thor clone, the Thor clone cyborg. Yeah, yeah that was so happened. stupid. Yeah, that I uh, that the, as soon as they unleashed him, he killed somebody. <laughs> I would have rather them turned Thunderstrike bad than <laughs> they did than have <laughs> they turned Thunderstrike a bad clone of him. Thor. I how do you clone a god? Well, that's probably why they why half of him was cybernetics because they could probably only do so much. All right, whatever. I don't I don't like it. I don't like uh-huh. it. I'm glad Sorry. the real Thor's back. Well, yeah. Uh, well, they, they probably just went to the the Thor museum and took a clip of piece of hair. <laughs> I was no a Superman four joke. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. No, he lived in the Avengers mansion for years, mm-hmm. and I'm sure everybody loses hair. I mean, you know, not I he, guess he wasn't going bald. Someone well, I'm sure at some point Thor he hair. got cut up and they had to, like... I mean, can you imagine his drain? It's probably oh, so damn clogged with hair. It's a <laughs> wonder it didn't turn out to be a Thor gunk monster. Yeah, between... Remember, remember Tick? 
No. You remember that? No, I don't they remember wanted that. To cl- it's the cartoon. They wanted to clone the tick. And they send this this idiot henchman, go, go get me a tissue sample. So he goes there, and the only thing he can get is, is uh, the tick has a cold, and he's blowing his nose. Oh, yeah. And he throws it away, and he goes, tissue sample. <laughs> you run. Oh, because it it's like a, a literal tissue, tissue sample. sample. And it makes like a mucus tick. He's like a slimy green <laughs> jello-like tick. All I know is between no. Thor's drain and Hulk's toilet, I don't... <laughs> I don't envy the janitor at Avengers Mansion. They 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 have never talked about that until recently. There was a uh, the Fantastic Four. I'm trying to think where they're at the moment. At the time, the Baxter Building was pretty much demolished up top. I mean, it still had some work and stuff mm-hmm. going. Is that so they could get the giant four? Or oh, that was Four Freedoms Plaza. That was Four Freedoms. Yeah, it's already been destroyed, and they replaced it with the new Baxter Building. But the uh, the Hulk took it over when he was Doc Green. Super intelligent Hulk. The guy walks in and he starts asking questions and he's like, I'm more I'm more amazed you're not asking while I'm three why I'm three D printing a giant toilet. <laughs> goes, well, That's pretty well, self Grimm's, evident, actually. Grimm's is got destroyed in the melee and I'm having to replace it. Right. Yeah, I was gonna go I bet you Reed Richards has designed a <laughs> toilet for for uh the thing and have that you, would be the one Hulk would have to of, use. Yeah, what I mean his uh his feces must be pretty impressive. Well, too, right? No, You're, wait, but he would have to eat as the Hulk. Okay, so. Well, he's a Hulk <laughs> all the time now. Yeah, but I mean, okay, so. What if, the time. what if if he eats a meal as Banner and he's like, ooh, I'm full, and then he turns to the Hulk, is he like, Hulk, hungry? And then, like, if he's Hulk and he eats, and then he turns into Banner, and he's like, oh, my stomach's <laughs> ripping loose. Ah. He, he's like. Uh, and what happens when Ultimate. The Hulk eats a guy, and Banner turns back in. They've <laughs> never covered that except in uh, Marvel Zombies, mm-hmm. where the Hulk ate somebody, reverted to Banner, and like there's a leg sticking out of Banner's <laughs> stomach. It rips him open because oh, he's got gosh. undigested. But uh, remember Thing's pogo cycle? No, he has like a like a flying motorcycle. Oh they call yes, it the pogo. I do remember that. It's actually. got four. Well, there's one day Johnny decides to take it for a spin. And just goes, he can't handle it. He's like, ah, oh, and flying all over the place because it's built for it's a 400 for a pound like, man. Yeah, yeah. Weighs two tons. And yeah. When you weigh 187 pounds, it's you not going to fly. It. Right. Exactly. So they've never really gotten to a lot of this stuff, but it's like, it's Hulk feces. How do you know? It's like, well, turds do Yeah, it's long. and green. Well, it doesn't make everything green. I mean, it's kind <laughs> of. Well, well, it's radioactive. But. Uh, there was one where it said that, okay, um, what was it? Once they, they covered Superman. Mm-hmm. It says his body metabolizes 100% of everything he eats. So he never shits? So he never shits. Cause it wow. Was, it, it was an afterthought. He's like, man, it's been awful slow lately. If I didn't metabolize you know, 100% of what I eat, I'd be putting on weight. So then he never you know, kinda, craps, ever. So, mm-hmm. but uh, they, oh. they did one where the Hulk was the last person on Earth. Mm-hmm. Banner couldn't eat or drink anything because everything was radiated. But the Hulk could eat anything. And he's eating, like, cactuses and shit like that. So I'm assuming, yeah, they waited till after it passed. The Hulk, hey, don't you feel calm after a hefty shit? Yeah, I do. So that's what mm. triggers him turning back half the time. <laughs> anyway, I do. what you got? Uh, I, we were talking about Thor Ragnarok. Yes. There's this rumor that Kate Blanchett has signed on to mm-hmm. be in there. Now, a lot of people are going, oh, well, clearly she's going to be Enchantress. I don't think so. Who do you think she's going to be? I think she's going to be Hela. She could be. I think she's going to be. That's Loki's daughter. Yep. Ah. Oh. Mistress of Hell. Okay, and Kate yeah. Blanchett. And that's, from that's a badass character, too. You don't want to mess with her. <clears throat> yeah, I could see Kate Bla- uh, her being Hela. That Hella. would be yeah. really awesome. But see, they're awesome. going to have to CGI her because Hela's always shown to be like Huge. eight feet tall. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine with that. It, yeah, they can do that. So, yeah, Hela is a... So. That's that would be awesome. Did you see the flying DeLorean? I post. Oh, the with the magnetic. Yeah, it's really cool. Actual, How much does that cost? Oh, nice. Oh, that they're they're it's a fundraiser. It's a Kickstarter. Oh, you get it mass wow, produced. Shit. So I'm, I've you know what I've uh, given your Kickstarter. I gave thirty six dollars <laughs> to get Mystery Science Theater three thousand back. So. But it is cool. Uh, if you, That's it's the first our, and only time uh, I'll probably ever give anything to Kickstarter. And it succeeded. Yeah. So now everybody wants Matt to donate because they he's should. got the touch. You know what? I got the power. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, Superman Batman True. stuff's already hitting the shelves. Oh, yeah, I saw some of it. So, I saw it at Toys R Us. They do I have saw the Wonder Le- Woman figure. Where at? Uh, Walmart, no, or Lebanon. Oh, wow. Okay, I hadn't hit here. I saw them in uh, Osa- or no, uh, uh, Columbia, Toys R Us. Uh, they do have a three-pack at Superman, Batman, and Lex in the Lexor armor. Yeah, it's uh, not. So, that won't show up. And everyone's like, oh, I want it, it to, but it won't. They do a lot. Of, I think uh, I think there was a Metallo in the Superman Returns line, mm-hmm. you know, and it didn't happen. So What about uh, maybe not Doomsday character? Not Doomsday. Uh, they're talking about he might be one of the six-inch figures. You know what the did you look that, on the back and see what the build be, a figure uh, was? No. Okay. This it this should is be unique. Doomsday, but it should whatever. Be. No, a build a figure is what it is. Is what about ten years ago now? Yeah, it was really cool at the time because they used them to make giant figures. Yeah. They'd say, okay, the store doesn't want to buy a, a twelve inch figure. We can't do Sentinels. We can't do giants because they just they won't sell and they don't have yeah. space for it. And also, when we're putting out a case of six different figures, people are cherry picking them. I want these two. I don't give a shit about the rest of them. Like yeah. people like me that like I want the first appearance Spider Man, Doc Ock. I couldn't care less about you know this everybody guy. else. Yeah. So what they did is they said, well, we'll take this giant guy, put him into pieces, put each piece in a figure, and you have to buy the whole set of figures to right. make the big guy. Right. Excellent marketing ploy. No, I have, no. I've got dozens and, of figures they, I didn't want. <laughs> and they employed it in Star Wars with build a droid, droid. Yes. later on so that you had to buy. But it's always a larger figure or smaller. It's you know, something they can't package on its own. Right. The uh, Batman v Superman 6-inch line, it's Batman's grappling gun. What the fuck? Which they're not going to make one of those for oh, a kid like anyway. like a full-size I guess gun? you'd have to look right. on but the back. But that's a perfect role play toy to put I, in there I with know. like that and a sword that Batman doesn't use, and <laughs> yeah. you know, and uh, until, I, yeah, until you saw those belts, you didn't know Batman had ninja stars. No, uh, yeah, and ninja stars and that he didn't use. Taser, radio, like Some Batman other don't call stuff for that, help. I remember there was a Spider-Man one when I was a kid that had handcuffs, and I'm like, <laughs> he's got webbing <laughs> it, 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 handcuffs. It had a grappling hook yep. for Spider-Man, a walkie-talkie. Yeah. Was this like a weird Japanese Spider-Man? No, though? what it was is them just repurposing the same toys for every superhero. If you, I yeah. think it started out as a Batman utility belt. Yeah. yeah. They they did this recently. There was a Batman utility belt that they did, I think, gray or gold. Or they did it, like I think, gray and put Superman logo on it. Yeah. Like, why does Superman need a walkie-talkie? <laughs> Superman. What I love is the Superman car and the Superman jet. I'm like, yeah. he's motherfucking Superman. Unless it's the Supermobile. That some bitch shouldn't be Super flying. Mobile. It does. It, it's a rocket shaped. It's got two fists on the side. <laughs> that's like like robotic arms. Like almost like Doc Ock robotic arms. So that's why he can like fly into kryptonite and shit. If someone's got kryptonite, he can, it protects him. Yeah. See, what, I, what about this, he has the kryptonite suit? Well, he didn't back in the 70s. Oh, okay. He just had the supermobile. Okay, whatever. He needed a whole vehicle. He didn't you know what think... I love is when they did the spider mobile, they were like, this is ridiculous. And they even were up like, this is ridiculous in okay. the comics. They did. Oh, what was it? They they uh, what was it? a manufacturer went to him to. Yeah, it was to sell tires or yeah. oil or something. So they made him a spider mobile to drive around. Actually, I think he never Storm realized. Yeah, yeah. he never he didn't realize he couldn't drive. No, so he tries <laughs> to drive it. It's hilarious. But it, someone gets a hold of it, reprograms, and it turns on him. I think it was the tinkerer. Yeah, that did it. <laughs> In the latest issues and previews, you see he's got a spider mobile. Oh, it's nuts. In the lead, latest previews, you see him looking up and the spider mobile is crashing through the ceiling like it's coming after him. <laughs> so he's just got no luck with the spider mobile. Well, he shouldn't. It's it's not. He should not have a spider mobile. He's Spider Man! And well, he shouldn't be a multi billionaire either. No, he and shouldn't. He there's is. a lot of. Okay, there's a so. lot of things wrong with Spider Man right now. So that, <laughs> let's just get that out of the way. Yeah, right so now. let's hope it doesn't transfer to. Oh, like again, Spidey. I'm loving that. That's great. That, oh, uh, you asked last. Uh, I think it was last week, the week before, since they've rebooted the universe. Does anybody know? Yes. Apparently, and... there are. Mm-hmm. Apparently, the universe has been rebooted, but everyone still thinks it's the 616 universe. Just with extra people on it. Like, there are people that know that they're from alternate realities. Okay. That now live on this planet, and all their realities have been torn to shit. That they don't exist anymore. And then you've got people like Miles Morales, who doesn't, who don't Yeah, realize he it. doesn't seem so, to know. Or at least I don't know, because I haven't picked up Spider-Man number one with him in it. But 
if ultimate in number five, it's it doesn't out. seem like he knows. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't seem like he knows. So, uh, what else we got? This utility belt, I remember this. I had this. My favorite, and one of the first things I ever ordered out of a comic, and I ordered it out of the comic, I had to cut up this comic, was oh. with the Amazing Bagman. <laughs> well, oh, I don't right. have that issue. Hmm. I think I still have that issue. I don't have it. Or maybe it. I don't. But, I uh, need it, though. It was a, a a plastic wrist gauntlet that had a suction cup shooter. Oh, yes! On it. And you hit the button. And you can shoot the suction cups. It's great. Yeah. I'm making it's the like, Spider-Man hand motions that nobody well, can see. Well, you couldn't do that because right. the button was on the Yeah, on but that's forearm. what it was. And you could shoot suction and you, cups. And it even come with like a little string that you tied. It's so cool. Of course, it was only like two foot long. I want one so long. bad. And I remember, well, my aunt broke it. Oh! Well, my uh, aunt and I were- Did you in, kill her? Well, I was quite a bit younger at the time. Because I'm Excuses. sitting there- we're, we're in the. This is back in the day when you could ride in the back of the pickup truck with the yeah. camper shell on it. We're on our way to uh, Louisiana. In the winter, it was like November, so it had to be cold back yeah. there. No kidding. But I'm trying. It's jammed, so I'm hitting it, and I hit it just right, and it shoots off and nails her in the eye. <laughs> oh. So she picks it up and snaps the, the Aww. dart. Aww. Wow. I Rage. was not happy. I can yeah. see why not. Oh, I even remember. Oh, I... speaking of what, you son of a bitch. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that... here we go. <laughs> Matt bought my son a Nerf gun. Uh, what? This is my fault? <laughs> no, which, hey, I have no problem with. He was shooting his brother. His brother going, ow, ow. I'm like, oh, man up, you you know, you pussy. Then he shoots me in the back. It hurt. <laughs> this thing hurt now, bad. Now, late. <laughs> Before he bitches, guess what he got my kid for her birthday? A fucking Nerf gun. And I, <laughs> he got her a bow and arrow, too. I've gotten hit before. with those fucking bow and arrows, and I've gotten in trouble for hitting her with those bow and arrows, because it leaves gigantic red welts when it hits you. So Nerf ain't as safe as it used to be. I'll just put it that way. And also airsoft. Do you guys ever been shot with an airsoft? No. no. The uh, the soft part of that name is kind of a mystery. <laughs> it actually, it Depends on how big of an area good. that it's it's hitting, I'd imagine. I've always wanted to do paintball, but uh, yeah. that time has kind of passed. People don't do that much anymore. Yeah. Well, what, what people you say you freeze them first? <laughs> oh <Yeah>. shit! <laughs> right. If you're a jerk, because <laughs> I want to break your nose. I mean, that's what the masks are for. Come on. Damn, that would hurt frozen. <laughs> I might as well just really be a bullet. <laughs> Did you hear that Force Awakens was almost called Shadow of the Empire? Yeah, no, there was a book called Shadows of the Empire back mm. in the 90s. And you have to forgive me. I'm I'm flipping through our Facebook page. And, uh, real quick, we'll get back to another death. Uh, <laughs> You're just obsessed with death. Medlark Lemon from oh, the Harlem right. Globetrotters right. died. That. He's my the only Globetrotter whose name I know. No yeah, fucker met Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Okay, he met Scooby Doo and the Scooby Gang back in the seventies. Him, Don Knotts, Don uh, Jerry Knotts Reed. No, oh. no, just everyone that met Scooby. Wait, he died a long yeah, time ago, right? Knotts, no, 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 no like, Don so, Knotts didn't did, die. He was like recently. reincarnated and died again. Yeah, but he, that'd be great. There's just to think there's some kid walking around go nip in the butt, Andy. You know that would be so great. He's like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that kid would be put in an institution. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you better let me out. <laughs> Stop talking like that, you freak. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just my voice. <laughs> He's all bug-eyed all the time. All right. Wait, oh. what? What am I looking oh, at? Hold up. <laughs> so do you think uh, they should do a... Don Knotts, like, biopic starring Steve Buscemi. Or he's almost... <laughs> that would doing, be right? great. Who else would be good for that? I don't know. Somebody with bug eyes. He would have been terrific, though, for it. Yeah. With those weird... I don't know who else looks like that that's famous. Right. Yeah, I was going to say that... Uh, what's that? DJ Crawl, Qualls or something? Oh, he yeah. He doesn't really have the bug eyes, but the, he's, he got, was he's in, all skinny um, and... What was he like, in that made him so famous? He was in a several like bad comedies. No, he was in like Delta Farce, and he was oh. in... Um, he was in there. Um, was he in old school? That was kind of no. Yeah. There was one where he like went to high school. Oh, he was and in. He was in. Was that, actually, was he's Eliza part of the reason he was on chick. my mind. I Candy and I just watched the Man in the High Castle this week. He's in that. Oh, really? Uh, which I I meant to go back and see because I mentioned it like two years yeah, ago. Yeah, I remember you talking yeah, about the it. The pilot came out. It was like an Amazon produced show. Yeah. And what they do is they put out a 
a single episode and they let people vote or like you know comment and rate it and if it gets enough attention and likes basically they make the rest of the show and so they did and it's like 10 or 12 episodes and we watched all of them this last week and uh, I really enjoyed it. Now, was this, it was a time travel, wasn't it? Where someone more it, or less goes back in time, make sure the Nazis not win? Exactly. Or? It's more, it's an alternate oh, okay. history okay. kind of thing. It's like, uh, it, it takes place in 1976, um, but it's like if the, yeah, the Nazis in Japan won the war, or basically America lost the war. Yeah. So, so our cars are really good and our electronics all work? Not really. Oh. Uh, things, you know, basically America is like turned into a third world country. Like half of it, or a little, like more than half of it, is turned is. Uh, hold up. Is run by the Nazis. And, okay, I'm sorry, guys. Hold up. Can you pause it for a minute? Uh, pause the. I'm trying to. Well, it's a little late now. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. We we just got done. Are we playing. We are going. Yes, we're rolling. All right, we just uh, uh, on our. I didn't web... want to see that video. <laughs> Why'd you make me watch? Now you're scarred for life. Matt doesn't was... like the poo poo. <laughs> It was uh, it was a Snickers commercial. It's oh. on our Facebook page with the Joker. The Joker. So and he didn't sound like Mark Hamill. No, but you know he was really creepy. He was yeah, creepy. it was creepy. Yeah, it was very creepy. So as a Joker should fell be. into the uncanny valley. Of the I went. I was making this joke one time. Which I thought was really funny. Okay, and probably not going to come across nearly as funny <laughs> now not, because I just told you how funny it was. Okay, but we were at work when... talking about like if Ronald McDonald was the Joker. Okay, and so so imagine Ronald McDonald. He's got the scars, and I was like, "You want to know how I got these scars?" The Brian incident. Oh, what? hot apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, just couldn't wait, could you, Ronald? No, just shove it right no, in there. Couldn't wait. Wow. Your menu needs to be healthier. <laughs> Why so healthy? <laughs> Happy meal would be a very different thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Daddy, I got the switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I'm dying. My my <laughs> mouth is stretching into a, a rictus. Uh... Yeah, they what, could have, they you... could have the Joker <laughs> filet of fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Joker fish. It's just smiling at you. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Here's a good trivia question, man. Yes. What came first? The jo- chicken. No. I go with the, the chicken every the time. Joker gas or the red uh, red uh, d- uh, dust of death from the red skull? Mm. The dust of death. He he shoots the death. Yeah, or he shoots the dust that turns people's faces into yeah. red yeah. skulls. Yeah, no, I think that's the red skull. Their first. skin yeah. pulls taut. So over Joker head. ripped it off. Really? I don't know though. The Joker, you know, has been around a lot longer. Yeah, but. But but did he? Well, I don't know. Was the Red Skull in those original '40s comics? Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, oh yeah, yeah. The Red Skull. True. See, when was uh, man that would have? Ooh, those are close. That's because question, the Joker actually, started yeah. off as a homicidal maniac. Right. I mean, he wasn't goofy shit at yeah. all. And I think the whole like was the, the chemical making people's face go into the grin and when they die was like early Joker stuff. That that didn't. That wasn't like something that came much later after he was introduced. Oh, I don't so know. it could have been. But yeah, I actually got a book uh for Christmas, a big uh DC comics like year by year breakdown oh. Oh, of cool. like the new characters that came out and and uh it's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It, it's a little it's you know, it's I mean, of course, what, seventy years worth of stuff oh, yeah. or eighty years almost. So basically, they devote two pages to each year. So it's it's you know it's a very cursory. So it's mostly thing. like Superman, Batman stuff. A lot of that, you know. <laughs> but they actually do put like uh, you know um, they talk about how I think I'm like up to like 1947 or something like you know I just kind of been flipping through it every now and then. But it you know they they actually do have like an entry for Animal Comics or were popular this year. Yeah. So. You know, we did these. these these were out and, you know, Western comics. And so they they it's not just the superhero stuff. They also kind of talk about some of the trends that were going on. But I'm glad you brought that up. Here's my my eight year old son. Here's like insightful, sad and funny all at the same time. <laughs> Comes down to my room, the room. He's looking around and he's knows I've got a Howard the Duck figure. Howard. And he goes, but don't duck. you have Daffy Duck? I'm like no, I, I've guys. never had Daffy Duck. I said only get characters from comic books, and I go, I don't get, I don't ever think I've ever had a Disney comic. Jacob, he goes, you've got Disney comics. I said no, I don't. He goes, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> he Son got you a- there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he but, he pegged you. 
Wait. Yeah, Daffy. that's weird that they're all Marvel no, comics. No, did I say Daffy? I meant yeah. Donald. Okay, I'm sorry. Donald. I okay, Donald, I was going to uh, say Daffy is a Warner Brothers. Yeah, I'm sorry. I meant Donald. I screwed that. They're the people who own uh, Superman, Superman, and Batman. And Batman. But right. yeah, he's right. Now all my technically all my Marvel comics are Disney comics, or at least the ones from the last what five years. Yeah, right. my son will never know when the mouse didn't own everything. Stuff. Who's that guy that's always at the cons that drew the old Scrooge? Oh, McDuck the Scrooge comic? McDuck. Oh. What is his name? I think he. Died I don't know something. because then like <laughs> they basically like warn you before you even talk to him. He's like, don't take him anything Ducktales to sign. You take him something to Ducktales to sign, he'll fucking cut your throat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> They, you know, it's like, like it's, that's how it was. That's what I was told. There's like big signs that says, do not bring anything DuckTales up here. We've got the whole DVD collection. <laughs> I just want to see a guy come up and he's like dressed as Gizmo Duck. And he's like, life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. And he just like, the guy just flips out and goes across the table at him. That would be the greatest thing. What about uh, Tailspin? What do you go, what, what do you think? How would he well, I don't know. Well, I guess that's... Uh, uh, Scrooge wasn't in Tailspin. Yeah, they weren't true. ducks. I yeah. wouldn't give a shit. But <laughs> who was Launchpad was, right? That was sort of a No, that a was crossover. Darkwing Duck. Yeah. you're thinking of. He oh. started in DuckTales and went to Darkwing. Oh, I love Darkwing hmm. Duck. <laughs> okay, no, I guess they were all rip off of like Spider Man characters. And, yeah, they like, Megavolt and. and were like Aqua Dog um, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty much his Spider Man's <laughs> Rogues Gallery. It's crazy. <laughs> it's Batman as a duck, but then he stole all, all Spider Man's villains. Characters, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I don't. I remember Darkwing Duck, but I don't really remember. Any and then there was Nega Duck, who was just like it's yeah. basically Venom, because <laughs> it was or, like evil Darkwing well, Duck or Reverse Flash, because he was in yellow. Yeah, that's he right. Was all yellow and purple. that's right. Maybe he was more Reverse Flash then. So that was that, anyway. man. Now I can't believe it because <laughs> when you said Grassroot, he was that um, like Plant Man. Plant Man, yes. Ah, hmm. uh, jeez. I want to look up Darkwing Duck Dark now. Animal. It's crazy. But I'm too busy posting these utility belts. <laughs> Not only did I find the Spider-Man utility belt that has handcuffs and grappling hook, there's a Hulk utility belt. <laughs> Just Hulk what he had, needs. In the old Mego line, the Hulk handcuffed. had a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk, Hulk study on weekend to get licensed. <laughs> Hulk registered pilot. <laughs> Why controls too small for Hulk hands? Well, I, the Hulk's <laughs> helicopter would just be like a projectile weapon, right? He would just yeah, throw it at people. Just throw right? it. Yeah. They grow you vessel in. Maybe he could use it as a club also, just grab the, yeah, the tail, tail and from. bash it. That is, I'd love to see that. They would just like, 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 he's getting away, Hulk. Look, there's the Hulk copter. Oh, yes, Hulk, use! And then you just see the bad guy running, and then there's a shadow, and he's like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, here comes the helicopter, and Hulk just threw it. Yeah, right. Okay, nice. I'm not going to read this, the whole story. I'm just giving you the, the title of this. Okay. Woman gives vodka butt, B-U-T-T, shots at bar on New Year's... Well, you absorbed On the, New Year's uh... causing riot after diarrhea explosion. <laughs> <laughs> So did she well, shit? That's a party. And Quick, looked, open your mouth. We don't want to waste the vodka. <laughs> and it looks like someone literally beat the living hell out oh, of her wow. for this. So she's the one that was giving. Well, you I said guess so. Gosh. And it, it's a wow. it's a blurred out picture. Of, I guess she's like leaning over or squatting down on on shot glasses or something. Oh wait, okay. <laughs> I okay, yeah. That story could go a couple different directions. Okay, hold up. Let me pull oh. her up here. It's from the. Uh, da, 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 da. That's none of my. Bi that's none of my business. This mug. This shot. None of, of her my. At none of my business news. <laughs> St. Louis. Damn it. <laughs> what? St. It's Louis. St. Louis. Mm. Yay for Missouri. <laughs> An evening of body shots and drunken adults turned into a violent riot during a New Year's celebration after several men lined up to receive vodka butt shots from 28-year-old Brittany Sullivan. According to patrons at the Timber Creek Bar in St. Louis, Missouri, it is not uncommon for women to, to crawl on the bar and offer body shots to men. Okay, however, that's it was, one thing. However, it was Different. the first time the shots had ever been delivered this way. Yeah, the chick was wait, real wait, drunk. Wait, 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 wait. Did she... She was real drunk. She went over to the corner with a funnel and a bottle of Kettle One and her girlfriend poured the vodka in the back door and, and struck a, star, a straw in there. 
Wow. You know, if you're going to do this, <laughs> just use the Holy well. Crap. Just use the well vodka. The Kettle One's probably uh, pricey, too, right? What the fuck? What? Ted was, That's a little pro tip for you guys. Said Tim Wolfson, who was at the bar that evening. She let loose a good one and cleared fluid, and the clear fluid flew it out. So several of the drunk dudes in, in there went for it. But the last guy that got more than he bargained for. <laughs> It was the most disgusting thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. People, they, the core. this should be a video podcast. Wait, you cannot is this real? See my what face is this? right now. Uh, <laughs> when I saw that, I lost it. Oh, wow. my gosh. Okay, let me see. This has got to be not a true story. This ah. woman beat herself up. Okay. Beat herself she, up. Okay. She was in a store years ago. She beat herself with a tool Okay, of some good. Sort. Thank you. Okay. Nope. That was a hoax. I'm not All sure right. Well, that was fun, was, though. The woman was actually. Okay. I was about show. ready to start working on my spaceship to leave this planet. <laughs> I'm done. Let me finish this not true story. Okay. Whew. According to witnesses, Sullivan began serving them with a straw, but eventually dropped her doors and served the shots like. The geysers of Yellowstone Park. Oh, shit. <laughs> Unfortunately for one man, he dema uh, demanded to remain anonymous. His geyser was not clear running. <laughs> oh, uh, was not uh, running clear. So i blasted out, not vodka, but the remains of corn chowder soup she had for lunch. Okay. You know, I actually, wasted her time, mm, but that was funny. That reminds me, <laughs> uh, you know, you guys know I had, uh, so my band Ralph is like our third album <laughs> We called it, it was called Obey Your Thirst. <laughs> and uh, oh, originally I was going to use. You didn't get sued by Mountain Dew for that? <laughs> no, it's Sprite. Oh, Sprite. Yeah. Uh, originally I wanted to use, because, you know, it was all about just being gross and, you know, like offending people. So uh, on the inside, I was, I had uh, seen like on Rotten.com or some like, you know, one of those websites, uh, there was a picture of this woman like shooting like yellow. You're Liquid talking about tub girl. Ass. You're oh. talking about tub girl. Don't face. put tub girl yes. in Google. And no. I th that was going to be the image I was going to use uh, on the inside. Why? Of why would and, you do but that? Uh, we, I couldn't find it. Like, um, but uh, we ended up uh, went went to the high road and. Uh, okay, used, now if I yeah, start dry uh, heaving, <laughs> and puke, I, it's because I'm looking for this image of tub girl so that everybody can appreciate. Well, we ended up using a picture of Socrates holding his bowl of hemlock oh, instead. That was the cover image. Oh, so my God, why? That's classy. <laughs> oh, my God, why? Uh, that, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I knew exactly what you were talking about. Yeah. You said it. Mm. <coughs> and I'm going to take that off my screen. Yes, yeah, please. <laughs> and erase my history yeah, forever. Yeah, do, 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 do the history. No, somebody, <laughs> let me see. I had just got goatees. To leave my memory, and <laughs> someone to. showed me Tub Girl. <laughs> no, no one showed you. You looked it up. Right. Now, that's true. I looked this one up on my own. I got tricked into seeing goatees. Goatsy. Go Goatsy. I, say, I always say goatees. Respect. Respect. Goatsy. Whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. That and um, the caption from, um, or the, not caption, the capture from the uh, uh, China sex tape. China sex tape? Yeah, where she's I, got a little I, oh, dick. Oh, China, China. China the yeah, wrestler. The she's wrestler. got a little dick. Yeah, It's got a head right. and everything. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I have I, no it, idea where you saw that. Our users You can, showed uh, that to me. Can, uh, <laughs> you guys can look this up on your own. These are yeah, fun tips for internet. If you want to put Tub Girl in, just, just imagine. Oh, shit, I said it. Now, now see, I'm starting to get sick again. Remember the days before the internet when the closest thing we ever come to this was going to a place like, uh, like Spencer's and said, hey, Hey Matt, and then when he looks over, you hold up the poster, yeah, the the, uh, the calendar of like the women, like four hundred, five hundred pound women, and in their thong lingerie. bikinis, yeah. <laughs> oh God! My <laughs> sister sent me a postcard uh, like that oh, when God. I was in high school. Ah, oh, gosh, dang it! I, I ate don't know what before I came here. Why did I leave that picture? <laughs> Why did I? Did you have any butterscotch pudding? <laughs> no, <laughs> shut up! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Well, we now know what's going to be the cover of Scrambled Brains oh, next shit. week. A nice, creamy butternut oh, squash shit. soup, perhaps? I, mean, I don't understand. Okay. It's like the two girls, one cup thing. Yeah. I, okay. 
it's it's fucked up and like wouldn't it be fucked up but when you talk somebody into doing it how how do you ever talk somebody into do that a lot of alcohol let's just try it let's just try it I yeah I don't know how you get yeah I don't know how that becomes a thing. I there's can't, a lot of shit I've seen on film. I don't know how they've talked people. Into there are it. so many things that really aren't that bad that I've never been able to talk a girl into doing. But I have never once said, "Hey, why don't you vomit in this cup? She's gonna eat it. Then she's oh. gonna crap. Then you eat that. Then you vomit that out. Then she eats that. Mm. Then, then and they're like, okay. <laughs> or why don't you put your feet behind? Are you gonna Are you gonna film it? Yeah, oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, I'm in. Yeah. Or why don't you put your head, your feet behind your head, mm. and we're going to give you a laxative, and you're yeah. going to shoot diarrhea yeah. up into the air, and it's going to fall oh, on no. your face. Keep your mouth yeah. open, <laughs> and I'm going to take pictures of it. And she's like, okay. Merry yeah. Christmas. Yeah, no kidding. That's, yeah, that, that'd be a great Christmas card to Grandma. Oh gosh! I, oh god! I, you I won't believe what I head. had to do for for get Christmas money this year. <laughs> it's like, it's no. a thought that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Why right. did I look that up? We need to get some real live vomit on the. On the <laughs> it might no, happen. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> but I think oh. okay, I just want to set oh, a Lord. ground rule: if you do puke, you got to clean it up yourself. Yeah. Oh, well, it's going to go all over my computer, so there yeah. you go. Just try to contain it within the uh, bounds oh, of the keyboard. The realm of... You know, actually, what one time we... we uh... off... <laughs> I don't even oh. know where we got off on this. That just reminded me of a puke story. Okay. Okay. He started talking about Ralphus. Now, how did we get to Ralphus? Uh, well, the the shitting uh, vodka. Yeah, the, that so that's vodka that's how it, it's, it's Nick's fault, fault that we did this. Yeah, come on now. <sighs> we try to stay on topic, but... Oh, know, football. Here. Yep. Football. Is that the uh, football? Chiefs, 10-win ten, uh, ten streak. Uh, Never been done in history. Yeah, that's true. Rolling into the playoffs, rumbling. We'll see if they can win a playoff game. They haven't won one since, like, 1993 or something, I think. Yeah, it's been a long time. And they haven't won a Super Bowl in... Uh, since the fourth Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, almost 50 years. That's cr- crazy. Yeah. Oh, just, so did anybody else die? Do we don't want to look at any uh, more gross yeah. pictures. Anything? Um, I mean, I don't know. We could. We're, we're, we're at fifty-six oh. minutes. We could. Uh, we're, oh, we're, we're coming down the home did you guys here. See any of the oh, major yeah, rain Superman from? cards? Oh, oh yeah, we Superman. were going to talk about Superman yes, cards. We were nineteen seventy-eight Superman, Superman cards that but, Will brought in to us. Yeah, my uncle gave them to me. And, Said some guy gave them to him. And what we were talking about <laughs> is within the last. I forgot that that wasn't recorded. All the stuff we talked about before the before taste started rolling. If you didn't know, Superman 1 and Superman 2 mm-hmm. was being uh, filmed simultaneously. But they started to have money problems. So they had to the, the stop on 2 to finish up 1. And then by the time they got to 2, Richard Donner had left the project. Yeah, he got mad about something. So they had to know. bring in somebody else to finish it off. Well, in the last, was it been five, ten years? They've released what's uh, called the a Donner Richard cut. Donner cut. They took the yeah. footage, some of the footage he shot that they cut out, which is a new opening sequence. Okay. Because in Superman 2, they, like, walk in and, like, hee-hee, we're bad guys. I'm going to steal this crystal. Yeah. And then it, and then like, then like it goes straight to their trial. Yeah, it's like it was a trap. Yeah. Talk about entrapment, And that's not bitches. what happened. That is... That well, is... wasn't the trial just in one? Yeah, I didn't see. Yeah, you didn't see him. And what about uh, Marlon Brando? Like, there was something weird with that too, right? They they just like recycled footage. Or yeah, something. they somehow. Well, in or, Superman Returns, they did that. Didn't they like shoot something, but they never used it or something? It's I something, something weird like that. Like that. Um, let me see if I can find the differences. But yeah, it makes a lot more sense because in the original, in the not the Superman two, but. The uh, the original Superman two, not the Donner cut. Like I said, they just break into there and like knock out like a guy an extra from Tron, and <laughs> and steal this. Although it couldn't have been an extra from Tron because I think this movie was made first. So, Could I don't be. know. I, um, but in the this one, it makes a lot more <laughs> sense because they're actually on trial for their crimes against Krypton, and then they send them into the Phantom Zone. So. Yeah. Instead of like ha ha ha, yeah, that's called entrapment. Yeah. And there was so. like no due process. They didn't read well, them the rights. They went straight Krypton to. Krypton the... was like a wasn't it some kind of dictatorship monarchy? It was ruled by a council, mm-hmm. a scientific council. But 
scientific council. Well, you know, the science council was yeah. they were very intelligent. Which yeah. you'd think they wouldn't even have a military, but you know, I don't know. General Zod. I mean, shit. But here's the hilarious thing: the end of the Donner cut. See, you thought it was stupid that Superman kisses Lois Lane and makes her forget that he's Superman and Superman too. Bitch slaps her in this one. No, yeah. <laughs> he he decides to fly around the Earth again. So he does it in the first one, and then he does it in the second one too to make so, for the for the sole thing of making her forget that he's Superman. So wait a minute, didn't he just change the entire movie then? Yeah, and then he puts then even though he killed Zod and his yeah. three guys, no, 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 that all rewinds and puts him back in the Phantom Zone. So how does he stop the the thing from exploding and I setting him know. free? Because he didn't know that it set him free. No. The Paris, what was it, a Paris elevator thing? Yeah, it was the Paris, bomb he threw into space. Uh, yeah. Like a, a small nuke. Because that he... because that's what you need to do with that is throw it into space. I didn't even think that was a nuke. Was it a nuke? I thought so. It was a very high-powered bomb. Yeah, maybe. Those well, because like, the nuclear thing was more Superman the 4. Or, or, yeah, Superman well, the 4 was all peace. nuclear stuff. But it may have been... Which was a well, wasn't there a bundle itself. of a bunch of bombs, or was that Superman? I don't 4? remember. No, he he went around and Superman four. He went around, got all the nuclear weapons, yeah, and okay. then threw them into the sun. Into which the I don't sun, think that's how that works would that either. Would that destabilize the sun? Maybe I don't know. I think it could absorb them. Okay. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Yeah, I guess if they're I not mean, detonated, they would just right. And the sun's already a giant, you know, nuclear, nuclear reactor. Furnace. Well, I knew that, but like, what if it added too much fuel and it? decided like that was the tipping point and it decided to like you know expand and then roasted us alive and we all died yeah do you think superman would have told anyone if that he'd have been like uh oh that? he'd be like uh humans uh i've got to go stop the sun oh Something shit weird's no happening. Yeah. he would have been i don't know what uh, then what he would have had to run down there and flew around the earth again yeah right <laughs> And he's like, and then Superman's like, I'm going to throw these in the sun. He's like, wait a minute, Superman. He's like, Superman, how'd you get here? It's like, I flew around the sun. You're going to make a big mistake. <laughs> yeah, and then man. another Superman shows up, and he's like, no, 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 no. you got to let him throw those in the sun because you come back and stop him, and then it fucks something up, so I had to fly around the earth again. Time travel. All timey-wimey. But I don't know. It, it, it's one of those movies I'd, I want to watch, or the Donner cuts, but I just never I got it. I'll let you it. borrow it. Yeah. So. I don't think I... I don't remember. I'll the last bring time it. I I'll bring it next those. time, and you guys can fight over it. Yeah. Really, the you can still to this it. day the best done General Zod. Yeah, and he really is. You know, it's, sorry, the last guy was okay, but I, uh, yeah, yeah Terrence Stamp was a lot better. Right. Just, I just like. Was I mean, cool. Just I, I was. Oh, I felt Terrence bad. Stamp. I lo well, because yeah. like he's one of my favorite. I I love that guy, uh, uh, Michael Shannon. You know, like. Mm -hmm. Almost everything he's done, I've liked. But that, I was like, no, why? Why, why did you do that? <laughs> why did you do that? I mean, it's just because it's Terrence Stamp. He's like one of those guys that's like Billy D. I I mean, yep. you, you insult him and he hits you with his bitch or his <laughs> pimp cane. It's just right yeah. across the face. Don't or, you talk bad about Terrence hand. Stamp. I mean, yeah. he looks evil, too. It's so great. Oh, yeah. Just the look on his face. The look on his face could kill you. I mean, you say <laughs> something to him and he's like, you're a fucking idiot. And he just, it's, it's crazy. The now, way Terrence Stamp could stare you down. As much as I hate how DC rewrites everything every couple years, one of the last reboots they did was cool because Jor-El was an asshole. Technically, what it was, you know Non from Superman 2, the mm -hmm. big guy, the mute. Nah, the guy is like, okay, Mrr. that was Jor-El's uh, teacher. He taught Jor-El. Mm -hmm. Well, they find out Krypton's going to explode. So they go to their friend General Zod. Say so we've got to do something, or you know, Non's like we got to do something. We got to tell everybody, and and Jor-El's like, no, no. We went to the council. They said keep it quiet. They'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Well, Non says screw that. We're going to. I'm telling everybody. The council oh, has him. Can't talk. The council has him kidnapped and lobotomized. Oh shit! General Zod figures this out, and he goes and turns on the council because they. They mind, you know. They lobotomize the non. Yeah. And here it is, all this shit's going on, and Jor El's keeping quiet, and that's why Zod's got a bitch fest with Jor El. Oh, got his son off. Yeah, got no, his no, son no, off no. the fucking yeah, planet. He, in time. Yeah. Fuck everybody else. But it does. It's one of those things. Um, 
one of those things where it's like, well, you know, you could have made this ship a little a three seater, and we all could have. <laughs> it was but... experimental. Okay, well, technically, what it was was well. That... That's what you want to do is make a ship an experimental ship big enough to put a baby in because. And they, well, you know they're what? probably going to put a monkey in it or something. Well, you know what they they decided yeah. to do, and probably the worst way, because you, you, every time they show Krypton, it's this vast futuristic world. Right. You know, like surely they've got space travel locked down, but they don't. They don't go off world. Mm. They're xenophobic. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They don't want to deal with any. They know life is out there. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want any aliens coming to their planet. So they're very xenophobic. That's why they shut down their space program. Hmm. And what what Jor-El was doing was Jor-El was working on rocket ships and shooting monkeys and dogs and cats. That's why we get all the fucking super pets. Crypto. Yeah, because Jor-El was, what kind of asshole? Says, I'm out of monkeys. What am I going to shoot into space next? Oh, I'll take my son's dog from him. And shoot him into space. You having fun with your with your dog, Crypto? Yeah, Dad, he's great. He's great. Listen, well, so, here's a dollar. Why don't you head down to the corner yeah. shop and get an ice cream? <laughs> oh, no, Crypto ran away. Or, no, we had to take Crypto to a farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boy, was he pissed when he landed on Earth. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Well, Meanwhile, he... he runs into Cosmos, the astronaut <laughs> dog. Wasn't there some kind of, wasn't there like a space monkey in one of those comics? Be- Bebo, the space monkey, yeah. yeah. There was okay. a horse, a monkey. <laughs> uh, Why did he send a horse into <laughs> space? Because well, you got to know. Yeah, you got to start using your know, human size things. Uh, okay. Uh, there was a cat, but I think the cat got it from like weird Krypton. I don't think it was a Kryptonian cat. Oh, okay. But yeah, there was a cat, a monkey, a horse, and a dog. <laughs> so... Okay. Cause if, yeah, if you ever had a spider monkey or one of those chimps, you know, that's what you want to have super strength and heat vision. <laughs> He's throwing his feces at me. It's, he killed a guy. He threw a turd right through his head. No, it's crazy. Oh, no, he's masturbating. And we're you, back to this. <laughs> yes. Well, because back, monkey's in, back in the 60s, and, and I'm not saying they didn't know science or they weren't, you know, they didn't put too much thought into it. So anything from Krypton that came to Earth and was under the yellow sun became super. Yeah. If you had a plastic cup on Krypton and it and you, it was in the ship, it was a super plastic cup. It was <laughs> it was indestructible. All I can see <laughs> is like a little is a a little cup with like a cape on it. And then, no. Like, no. And like there's all these other little red solo cups running away. <laughs> God. And he when the cup flies in. Reminds me of a saying I read recently. Oh, shit. I, I was amused that I, or was it, I saw a dog chasing his tail, and I thought how easily amused that dog is. Then I realized I was watching the dog chase his tail. So, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our life. Yeah. It's, but, anyway, mm. but yeah, that was ever anything. That's how Superman got his suit. Was they rewove his uh, baby blankets? That makes right. sense. That and it makes stretches. Sense. That's what they, you know. Yeah, right. That, it, or at least that was how it was done. At the one Silver point. Age. Yes. Who knows what they say now? It um, makes sense. Now he has a crypto. Technically, because you always thought. I guess you know, right? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, in the in the eighties, uh, they changed where he he had an aura, so anything that was skin right. tight <clears> would <throat> be safe. He went through capes like crazy, though. His yeah. capes would get destroyed all the time. Which his mom was, you know, no one wondered. It's like kind of like the Batman thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, why does Bruce Wayne keep ordering all these, you know, bat-shaped boomerangs? Well, I mean, why does Ma Kent really keep really ordering? Think about it. You know, sixty you, yards of I mean, red material. Look at the Bat Cave. Okay, major, major construction happened in there. Oh yeah. As Alfred and Bruce down there putting together the hydraulically I, controlled turntable to turn the Bible I, I, around. I think I think the foundation of the Bat Cave has a lot of skeletons. That's <laughs> what I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, we did a good job. A lot of bats around here. You see what he did? We built this right under Wayne Manor. No, Wait what a minute? <laughs> what they sit down and plan? They said, "Okay, this is our designs for the Bat Cave." Now, what we need to do. Is is make it to where we can easily change it out because when they build it, we don't say it's a it's a freaky sex cave with sex swings and. <laughs> Bruce you know. Wayne has all Master Wayne has all kinds of parties down here. You no, know, because you know there's construction guys going. He had some freaky shit. <laughs> I just the construction. I just love the idea of it. It's like, but yeah, wait a minute. 
But now he, but now Superman actually has a Kryptonian suit that it kind of compacts down into the S. So like he always Flash's his ring. Yeah, so he's always wearing the S on his shirt on his chest. But when he takes off his his jacket or whatever, it like unfolds or it like almost like a symbiont over him and makes the suit. Hmm. So that yes. way he can actually take off his jacket, roll up his sleeves at work without <laughs> showing the big blue. Right. You know. Jeez, That's Clark. A it's, way to replace. It's, it's August and it's 110 degrees outside. You're in a suit. <laughs> Aren't you hot? I love, I love nope. that sketch with the rock. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like he's wearing a white shirt. So you can see the blue <laughs> right through it. it. The rock, the first time the rock was on Saturday Night Live, they yeah. did a sketch with Superman. Right. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. It was and really he, you can see the, his, his uh, sleeves were sticking out and the cape was coming out of his collar. Because it's like all tucked in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was good. That was you one know of what the they, funniest. You know sketches. what I've heard? You don't need kryptonite to bring Superman to his knees. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute! The, now, surely, Superman isn't gay. Superman is not gay. Sure, now back in Smallville, he you know he he experimented a little bit in college. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> what? They're talking about how they, they, they somebody had Prince Albert in a candy with him. He killed somebody or something to get Prince Albert out of candy. <laughs> It, it was that was one was, of the funniest. It was a good Saturday Night funniest Live. Funniest Saturday Night Live sketches I ever saw. My, I think we've talked about it before on this podcast. Yeah, my it favorite. Familiar. He did a. He was a. Did you see the cigarette commercial? Mm-mm. It's like Nicorette. I can't remember what it was. And it's like, uh, you know, I'll tell you how I quit smoking. And he went to put a cigarette in his mouth. And the rock comes out, and pops him in the mouth. He goes, "Hi, I'm so and so. I'm six foot whatever, two hundred and something pounds, ex marine with an attitude problem." My job is to come by you, you know, every time you think about smoking to beat your ass. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> I bet it would work. There's a, yeah, like that Stephen King story. You guys, yeah. You know, Quitters, um, uh, Quitters, Inc., I think. Yeah. They, like, good kick their family hostage. The <laughs> yeah. Like, put the guy's wife in, a like, a room with an electrified floor. And that, or they, For they what? They quit that what? In, um, cat's Eye. I think it was to quit smoking or something oh, like shit. that. <laughs> There yeah, was it was a movie in Cat's called Cat's Eye, right. Eye yeah. with, and that was part one of the segments. So what, in what's Eye. more, I love that movie or... when I was a kid. I don't know. It's got Drew Barrymore in it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh. it's got like the little or not troll Drew Barrymore. that's like. Is it Drew Barrymore? Because Drew Barrymore remember. was the fire starter. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. She might have been in there. I can't. I don't remember any of the cast. Let's look that up. But I remember, and there's the part with the guy like walking on the ledge, and the penguins are, or the penguins, the pigeons are like pecking his feet and stuff. He has to yeah. like sneak around the ledge of the, the building. Uh, yeah, I don't remember how that all came together, but mostly I think I liked it because the little troll guy that was like trying to steal the souls of the kids or whatever. Okay, like, and they were one. blaming it on the cat. Oh yeah, what? Well, yeah, <laughs> Fuck you. and the cat actually <laughs> fought the troll. Right, that oh, was my. great. And Drew Barrymore <laughs> was in that. Okay, yeah. Drew Barrymore, James Woods, huh. Robert oh, yeah. Hayes. I think James Woods was. He I think was he the was the guy, the guy in the walk on the in, ledge. Yeah. Wasn't he? Huh. Yeah, that's right. Cat's eye. Was that oh like gosh. Frank uh, Langella or whatever? Was he the like mobster guy? Let me. I don't know. But we rented that. That was like you know, there's like some 1985. Cat's some eye. of those like videos that we would rent all the time. It seems like we rented that a bunch. Yeah. So she was in Cat's Eye and Firestarter. Alan King. I'm not seeing Frank Langella. Okay. Whatever happened to them? Prodigy? They're yeah, st- I sure. saw something about them recently. They're still Oh, they're still out and about? I think they, they were playing a show or a festival or something. What was it? It was Europe Firestarter recently. and Smack My Bitch Up. Yeah. Was the two they yeah. hit big in the late was 90s. Was that Smack My Bitch Up? Was that Prodigy? Yeah. yeah. That was. The big twist in the video, guys. No spoilers. Go check it out. <laughs> Don't think you what know. What he did another? They did another one. It was like I don't, I can say that was Firestar. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah, that was their first one. Oh, uh, yeah, that come play my game. What was it? Psychosomatic. Yeah, oh, that. So um, what was the yeah. name? I don't know what that was called though. Uh, oh crap! Now you get me. Because they're in a tunnel. No. The whole uh, exhale. Uh, exhale. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. I think that's the name of it. Exhale. I saw them at. I think at Lollapalooza, mm-hmm. maybe. Well, it was not. I mean, I don't know. It was a big amphitheater. You kind of lose the effect. I think you need to see them indoors, up close probably. and personal. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to find that song because I'll see. 
the prodigy discography. Just God. Well, you know, we should probably just wrap up. We're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 I think we're good. I think just, we, yeah. we've exhausted. We're rambling, it. man. Yes, we're just horribly. But that's like every day of my life. So, well, I got other things I do. to do. I, I ramble. I meander. Mr. Rambling Man. Not all <clears throat> who who uh, wander are lost. But well, you are. I am. I very much am. Now fire start. Breathe. Breathe. That's it. Okay. So exhale. It's a you know that's mm-hmm. part of breathing. I'll take that. Okay. Here we go. Marvel trivia. I'll wrap okay, it up. It Where me. does Daredevil live? Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen, New York. Who is Polaris in love with? Havoc. I'd say. Or this Alex time. Summers. Yeah. Let's see. Who else has she banged lately? <laughs> Ellen. I'm going to say Ellen from Pete and Pete. <laughs> what is oh Thunderstrike's God. real name? Eric Masterson. Yes. Oh, shit. I like what to device call allows Erickson. Omega Red to survive without draining people? Oh, crap. I don't know. It, it, what the, device? The, the, what? I think it was the C synthesizer. Synthi- ah. Synthesizer? Yeah, the synthesizer. C. Name. So he's like playing like okay. 80s tunes and Now shit. remember, yeah. hold up. Now remember, do, do, these do. cards was probably from early 2000s, okay. late 90s. All right. Name three of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Shit, well, Vance Astro. Yes. Um, Chris Pratt. Starhawk. Starhawk, Yes. In uh, Yondu. Yondu. Okay. Let's see yeah. what we got. And Nikki Six. No, not Nikki Six. Nikki is from Six. Uh, yeah. Molly Crew. I'll be damned. Okay. Uh, number one was Star Hell's Child. Kitchen, New York City. Yeah. Havoc. Havoc. Eric Kevin Masterson. The C synthesizer. I came. I, would, I was right. Eric. Is it C like the letter C or the? Uh... Yeah. Okay. It's not like. The Black Sea or the Red Sea. Uh, and ma- okay, major victory, which yeah, was that's Vance Astro. Uh, Vance Astro, Charlie Twenty Seven. Charlie Twenty Seven. Yeah, that's. I like that name. Martin X, Yondu, is he a, is he a Kiki, clone? Starhawk, Alita, Replica, and Talon. Shit, I don't remember hardly. A lot of these were from the '90s series. Yeah, the Yondu. He's the guy. Yondu's that, original. And he was yeah. in Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy, but he was like and the they are guys. introducing him into. The 616 universe. So, does so Kiki sure. have any particular powers? Kiki is... She has fire one, hair, if I remember each right. Each one is oh. from a different uh, uh, planet in our solar system. Oh. Uh, Charlie 27 is from Jupiter, which has heavier gravity. So, he's short. He's, he's short, but he's oh. stocky. He's big and yeah. heavy. You know, he's the heavy lifter guy. He looks like you took a normal-sized guy and put him in a press. <laughs> yeah. And then pulled it back up. Uh, Nikki like, came from uh, Mercury... Head. And her body temperature is so high that she, re- like, no, no, you release heat from the top of your head. Hers is fire. She's hot, literally. So, so she's Firestorm Junior. Pretty much. Uh, actually, no, she don't really have any powers. I think oh. she can. So what the fuck? She's she like a, a, sh- a sharpshooter. Right. Like hey, she's guys, get them close to my head. I can <laughs> burn them. Yeah. <laughs> Hold your breath. <laughs> actually, she did do that. No, I mean, she actually can control the length of her hair. Because she always kept it. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. One time she decided she wanted it longer, so she just kind of willed it to be. Did uh, Mr. Fantastic make her a cool pillow? So she could, <laughs> like, yeah, like, how she does she sleep? This pillow. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> she got cancer later. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't everything have to be a best? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or flame, retar- flame retardant. Oh, anyway. All right. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, send all complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com or you can go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. That's uh, what I would do if I were you. Yep. Well, you know Absolutely. what you should do? You know what? If you're going to go there, you should like it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Why Why bother going there if you're not going to like it? I don't know. It? YouTube? Yeah. You can go, go to YouTube thing. and subscribe like there. Yes. That'd be good. Absolutely. Uh, we're also on Twitter at scramblecast. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you need to go to iTunes. iTunes. Go yeah. to iTunes. Subscribe. Like it. Whatever you got to do. Not like Subscribe and comment. Comment. Leave a review. Yeah. Do whatever. Yeah. Do it. Don't be afraid. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Just do it. Do it. You can Shia do it. Shia LaBeouf. Like, yeah, what Matt said. Do it. Uh, but, you know, if you don't know how to get to any of those places, you can always go to www.scramblebrainscast.com, which is the official website, where you can find links to all this stuff. Yeah, that's the easiest way to find everything mm-hmm. your heart desires. Yeah, everything. Your, your fondest dreams will come true if Yay. you click that link. And I found a strange actually will not come through. If it was, you know, yeah, yeah, not valid yeah. New These York statements have not been yeah. evaluated by <laughs> those Do not necessarily represent the... <laughs> since uh, much. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Goodbye, Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other.
Clock, clock. Do, do, do.